if you would eat too much of tuberous material like potatoes and other tuberous substances, you will generate gas which is below the navel. Your prana between the navel and the pit of the throat will not function as it should. Your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered. These three are very vital for you to be a vibrant human being. If you generate gases below the navel, that is, if you eat certain types of foods, if you eat too much of tuberous material like potatoes and other tuberous substances, you will generate gas which is below the navel. Once you generate gas there, your prana between the navel and the pit of the throat will not function as it should and the dynamism levels in your system will go down. This is one reason those who wish to meditate, those who are students and those who need to focus their mind and stay awake for long periods of time, they should not eat those substances. Bloating occurs when there is excessive gas in the stomach, often caused by eating foods that are difficult to digest. Some foods produce more gas in the intestine than others. The feeling of bloating is unpleasant and we often blame fried foods for this discomfort. However, vegetables can sometimes be the culprits behind gastric issues. Besides potatoes, there are several tuberous vegetables that can cause gas such as radish, onions, taro root also known as arbi, beets, cassava, garlic, sweet potatoes and yam. People with sensitive stomachs may experience digestive distress like gas or bloating when consuming these vegetables. Why tuberous vegetables can cause gas? Number 1. High starch content. Tuberous vegetables are rich in starch, some of which are resistant to digestion and absorption in the body. Number 2. Fiber content. These vegetables are high in fiber, particularly insoluble fiber, which can contribute to gas production. The degree to which these vegetables cause gas can vary depending on several factors including individual enzyme production and gut bacteria composition, overall digestive health and sensitivity, the specific type of tuber and its preparation. You will develop gases in the system. Gas is not only in the stomach that you will feel obviously, but you will develop vayus in the system which will work against your pranavayu. That means your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered over a period of time. These three are very vital for you to be a vibrant human being. The word vayu literally means that which moves, generally referred to the air within the body. In a fundamental way, it manifests as five basic vayus. Generally, if you get the five vayus in place and on, the other things will naturally fire up and function by themselves because they move everything in the system. Your digestive fires, if they have to move, these pancha vayus are needed. Circulation must happen, nutrients must spread across the body, wastes have to be removed from the cellular level. For everything to happen, you need movement. If you stop the movement, then you will see the body will not be able to sustain life. First thing is, the movement of energy, the movement of different vayus in the system, there should be no blockages. So there are vital passages within the body, particularly in the head region. If these pass passages are blocked, keeping yourself up in an exuberant way is a great effort. Potatoes are a staple ingredient in many dishes, from curries to snacks, but they often come with an unwelcome side effect – gas and bloating. Many tuberous vegetables can cause similar digestive issue. Three remedies to reduce gas and bloating. Number one, ginger tea. Ginger has anti-inflammatory properties can cause stimulate digestive juice, aiding in the breakdown of gas production compound. Number two, fennel seeds. Fennel seeds contain compounds that promote the production of digestive enzymes, helping to reduce gas and bloating. Chew on a tablespoon of fennel seeds and drink warm water to ease symptoms. Number 3. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple Cider Vinegar can stimulate the production of stomach acid, aiding in the digestion of tuberous foods. Mix 1 to 2 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and drink it before or after a meal. Number 4. Carom Ajwain Seeds Caraway seeds contain compounds that can help relax the digestive muscle and facilitate the expulsion of gas. You can chew on a tablespoon of caraway seeds or add them to your food while cooking or even brew a tablespoon of ajwain in a cup of water and drink them. 
to get free tips on food, health, Ayurveda, lifestyle and yoga by Sadhguru, please join our WhatsApp and Telegram link below.